something I wanted to make for myself was a uh, kind of like a trade show coffee mug from Bez Cutter. Obviously, I don't think they do them, but uh, just one of those things, uh, goofy things I kind of like having. And I thought it was a great way to demonstrate uh, doing like a logo on a coffee cup. We're going to put it right there. And up on the cup, you can see it. And we have the focus correct now. So uh, we have this, everything's in focus. We're going to go ahead and turn our fan on. Yeah, let me go ahead and show the settings. So uh, we're doing this as a uh, crosshatch at 15 degree angle. No particular reason for that. Um, 0.1 millimeter line spacing, two cycles. And then you can see the rest of the settings there. Uh, so, oh, that's on current pen. Let me, let me go pen two. And you can see we're at 500 millimeters a second, 100% power, 50%. Uh, so that is how that is. So let's go ahead and run this. Yeah, bring up the fan. And we'll be watching here in the screen. We gotta let our uh, blower fan cycle up. Uh, so the door on our enclosure is closed. And you know, the fan, fan's got up to speed. We're gonna go ahead and click Hit apply on our settings and we're going to go ahead and hit mark our cover is off okay and contact so we're trying to punch all the way through the glazing it might take a couple passes we're going to let it cool down between passes Okay, so that's finished its first round. Let's take a peek in here. We'll let it clear for a second. Okay, so we have blistered our finish, but we haven't burned it off. And you can see kind of the bubbling glazing, so we're not quite through it yet. Let's go ahead and hit it one more time. And uh, let's see what this looks like. And mark. In our previous test, it took six passes to burn through, so. Focus does seem to be a lot better on this. You do have to be careful you don't break the cup. You can, you can break them. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's done. Uh, what do you think, Mark? You want to take a peek? That's, that's pretty dang sweet. You want to let it run one more time? Yeah, why not? Or do you not? think we'll risk breaking the cup? Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Let's go ahead and it's not, cool. well, it's, it's, it's warm. It's like, it's like it has no, hot coffee in it. I can't fun. imagine that breaking anything. Oh, and just for All reference, right. this is the 300 millimeter lens. Yeah, and it's a 50 watt machine. I didn't say that before. That should be assumed you're on a channel that has a 50 watt machine. That's all we have. If so you watch our other videos, all you don't know. Yeah, well, true. Okay, let's one more pass. So this will be six passes through. And if we hear a loud tink, we know we went too far. I almost want to go back and do one of my other cups again now that I got this. This seems to work pretty darn good. Oh boy. That looks really good. Um, dang. I want to give it a minute. <laughs> that one more time. <laughs> See, eight passes. Uh, again, we are waiting a little bit because the cup is hot. Well, I mean, it's... I mean, it's within tolerance range. I can touch it, so it can't be that hot. All right, let's go ahead and hit mark again. And when we say eight passes, each of these is two. Yeah. So it's the total number of loops on a cross hatch. So it's two each time we hit the start button. And for reference, we don't have the fancy enclosed model. We have the open machine with a cover that we made with our other laser. <laughs> Oh lordy. Okay, well. Oh wow. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm gonna stop there. Uh, let's take a look at it. And we'll get some detailed photos with the camera. Okay, so we have realigned. Uh, we're on the other side of the cup now. I'm gonna find where my losses. 
And we have this set. The red line is right there. You go ahead and close the door. And so the way this works has a little internal latch on it. We'll show you in the drawing of that when we eventually post it. So the door is closed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit stop on the red light. Uh, so what we have done is we've reversed this. So the inside is white. It's not getting marked. The outside is hatched. We have to select it because we're, the way it's set up, it's uh, set for mark only. Uh, so let me go ahead and get you the cup so you can see that. And this is set for uh, two passes. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. Uh, I guess we'll go. Let me just take a look. I'm just checking a few things to make sure. Yeah, okay. That's it. Mark. And hope and a prayer. <laughs> Please don't break. And there's no particular reason for the uh, 15 degree angle. I just picked that out of a hat. So 90 degree would probably be fine as well. That is really cool. We dismounted the camera the other day, or uh, actually earlier today, so this is pretty cool to me even. Okay, so it's gonna run through this one more time, and then it's gonna stop and we're gonna let it cool uh, because you can break the cup. It can get too hot. Looks like we burned through a little bit of the enamel, the uh, coating. This is process time, right? Does it only show when it's done? Yeah, it only shows when it's done. Yeah. <laughs> it looks great. I'm curious when it's. Okay, yeah, should be done? Alright. So uh, that was a minute 14. So we're gonna let it. Let's people at home would like to see. Oh, nice. I'm just checking how hot it is. So it's it's warm to the touch. It's not like blowing hot. It's not like on fire or anything. Uh, I guess I'll run through one more time. Okay, we're still selected. We're going to click mark again. Well, I'm glad I added the camera. That is so cool. <laughs> I don't like I, I don't like wearing the glasses because I find the glasses uncomfortable. They make me a little dizzy. I don't think the little uh, ray traces on the end stayed on for the ride, but they were pretty. They didn't look like they were big enough, so if they didn't make it, I'm not surprised. But we will see. Really cool. So this is just a coffee mug from Walmart. There's nothing special about this. Uh, yeah, I I don't know how much there. I I do know they're less than two bucks. I got eight. Uh, I got eight of them for sixteen dollars. I think or twelve. I forget. I'll I could blink it. Oh, we are cheating just a little bit. That's a yeah. square cup. It's not a round one. Yeah, well, anytime you're engraving something, if you can do it flat, that's a lot better. Oh, uh, the little stars kind of held on, but not quite. They're a little too small. All right, all right. You think it's done, or you want to go deeper? Uh, I want to do one more pass. Okay, so it'll be six passes. Yeah, let's just right. see how hot it is. I mean, it's it's hot. It's not... I can touch it still, so... Can't be too bad. And one more. Might be a little too close to the lip on this one. Again, this is mostly an experiment. These are cheap cups. And uh, it is a little hard to get the height set on this because they're such an odd kind of organic shape, but it is very important that you have them in focus. Otherwise, because they'll actually mark up pretty easily. Um, I had some earlier ones I marked. I was about 30 millimeters out of focus, and they marked just fine. Uh, but, well, not just fine. They marked, and they looked like they were okay, and then we finally 
got the height set right, and they're like, holy crap, we were doing this wrong. So. Yeah, this machine has so much more power now. Yeah, this is, this is definitely where it's supposed to be. Please don't crack. Please don't crack. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. No marking time. Just yeah. Under. I'd say that's got it. Yeah, I think that's got it. I'm going to go ahead and take it up. Uh, you want to hold the camera? Sure. Or rather, cell phone, but okay. And that is really cool. And then this is the other side. So yeah, I think I prefer that, but you know, you can't do that. So really cool.